let's talk about this cohabitation uh, monitoring that, that the Virginia government was still doing in 1866. Okay. So that was part of, that was with the Freedmen's Bureau in abandoned lands. That was part of uh, what they were supposed to do. They were supposed to legitimize um, the households uh, and to marry these people because during in the enslaved period, marriages of the enslaved were not registered in the courthouses. They were not considered legitimate marriages. So for those people that were claiming Christianity following um, the teachings of Christ uh, and God, um, they had to separate church and state. So if they didn't consider them legitimate marriages, they could lie down at night uh, and not worry about the separation of husband and wife or, or parent and child. Mm -hmm. Then fast forward to Reconstruction. And again, how are we going to handle them as members if we accept them as full brothers and sisters then that mean if we openly accept them then all of a sudden they're going to be sitting at our tables eating with our wives no we don't want that we want a a division mm -hmm. do their own thing where before keep them in our church so they can't plan an insurrection right right you know so they can't plan no night burials no separate uh, church services because we heard in 1831 they were at church planning these things so we're going to put a stop to that. For people who may see this, for people who may start out on the research and realize that they have connections to hear, what can the public do to continue to support the work that you and your interns and, and members are doing here in this part of the country? Okay. Well, first of all, they can uh, be good caretakers of their histories. We're not asking for your originals. Send us a, a copy of your original. Um, share if you have Falky roots or know of someone with Falky roots, share that information and share with your brother and your sister. Uh, but we're open Tuesdays and Wednesdays. We accept uh, membership, donations, contributions. Always, uh, you can do that on our website, ahafalkier.org. Um, we have a Facebook page, We're getting ready to start a Twitter campaign. We have a one-room school that we're in the process of trying to um, restore. So we're going to need funds for that. Uh, we would like to be able to continue our research. So we're always looking for new members. We're looking for people that have hours or moments that they want to volunteer their time uh, to share their histories and, and just be supportive.